Okay, I got this flower at Goodwill, like for a quarter. And uh, it's like my favorite. And I'm like, what do I like so much about it? So I got to looking at it more closely. And it's got flower petal leaves. And then it's got pink lace, really light pink. And really pale petals and some more of the pink lace and more pale petals with some pink toward the center and get this image out of your mind because I'm going to try to make one but it won't be that pretty <laughs> so don't compare mine to that one so what I've done uh, is these are um, just some Dollar Tree flowers I've got and I guess it's I don't know peonies maybe I don't really know and so I took it apart well I took two apart and I cut this little lace pattern off of some window shears I had got at thrift store this one fell out when I picked it up and so I'm gonna put the big petal and okay that's a window shear fabric that I I traced not the large petal but the one above it and um, melted it and so okay I've got the large petal and the lace that fell out then the window shear fabric it's just all smooth and then I've got another petal and it's got a lot of pink on it and so I'm trying to hide some of that pink and this is some window shear fabric that's all wrinkledy. I don't know what you call that, but it's made to look wrinkled. And let's see. Then I went to next smallest. And then the next smallest. And it's got the little wavy petals. Let's get this. Let me move this where I don't destroy it. Okay, there's your regular petals. I guess when they get smaller right here, they get more jaggedy looking. Is that a word? Anyway. Uh, so I guess that's why. Okay. So I'm going to probably have to work upside down. And what my plan was is to use... Where's the one I didn't bend all the pieces? Use one of these bud centers. And I can, you know, glue these in place to her some of that dark pink doesn't show and look at that little cup ain't that a good idea you know you could um get some kind of like okay like this right here i could take this lid and i could do hot glue on it to make some little cups for my flowers pretty good idea huh hmm i might have to try that one day but when I ripped it apart, I seen that and I thought, wow, awesome. Okay, and but what I'm wondering is if, because I'm wanting to put it back together, but I'm wondering if, you know, it'll be too thick. But I'll glue them together. So if, it, if it's too thick with this little short stem, uh, we'll figure something out. And... Because I'll be doing it this way, i got to work upside down. That'll be fun. So, okay. Here's some of the wrinkly window shear. And I kind of, where's the one that's that size? I just cut a circle a little smaller than these petals. And um, snipped it inward. I'll show you the big one. I hadn't melted it yet. I had my hole in the wrong spot, so I had to move it. <laughs> but so far, I hope you can see it. Let me move this stuff. I just cut the slits up toward the center. And cut a bunch of little places right there on the edge. 
And then it didn't look right after I melted it on the little one. So I went back and just cut these little outer corners. I thought I left one. Ah, oh, here's one. Where I can show you. See, you, you can tell when I melted it, it just didn't look right. So I'm just, you know, cutting a little of the outer corner off. Like on this one, I went all the way to the tip of the other corner. And over here, I didn't. They're all different sizes, so, you know, it ain't going to be perfect. And so now, I'm just going to, oh, and this one, it melts a lot faster than that other window shear. So I'm going to melt that. It's like fingers. <clears throat> melt in between it. Kind of separates petals. Melt that. You can always go back and melt a little if you don't like it. But if you over melt, <laughs> it's kind of hard to undo. You can cut some off, but sometimes that don't work. Okay. I do not know what that is. Okay, but it don't matter. We'll say, what do we say? It goes to this side. So I'll melt in between here. And then I'll just hold it here. <laughs> you can actually melt fabric together, but I don't have tweezers, so I ain't worried about it. I thought it stuck together, but it didn't. Okay. Ow, that fabric was hot. Who would ever thought melted fabric would be hot? Just gotta remember that. Okay, and you can tell I just cut it any old way. It ain't precise. I ain't a precise type of gal. All right. I got a little bit black on that. That's what I mean by sometimes you can cut over burning off and sometimes you can't. Okay, so I got my little and big wrinkled shear. And here's my little center part. And you know what? I might put these in that little cup, you think? All these little strings are going to get in the way. I wonder if it'd be better if I did to cover up some of that pink. <laughs> I love the flowers, but they were a little on the pink side. I'll say go in the cup. So. Get that one. Would that be enough, you think? I wish I could hear y'all. <laughs> I'm going to need this one to go on that. So, okay. I'll put that. Where's my little cup? I like that cup, though. I'm glad I took it apart. Watch me not ever make one. <laughs> Hopefully I will. That's covering up some of the pink. I can kind of twist it around where I need it, I guess, and glue it if I have to. I should have hit my inhaler. I'm wheezing. <clears throat> okay. Let me open up this one. I wonder if I should glue this cup down. Maybe not. Because that would take up some space. And I have no space to spare. I've got little strings holding it off. Okay. And now for the fun part. There we 
go so far. And guess what? My battery symbol's flashing for some reason. I wonder what that would be. I'll keep going. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. That can't be right. I'm missing a layer. Maybe it is right. I'll just keep going. But it seems like I'm not, you know, a, I could have more lace or something in there. Okay, and this little hole has definitely got to be opened up. It has closed back up. Well, it's in the center enough, I guess. I don't think that's enough. Where'd it go? Okay. One thing, though, is these little threads getting in the way. I guess you can snip them or move them. So... I see one hanging. I got my reading glasses on. I saw you. It ain't going down all the way. I tell you what, I'll change my battery and get this one all the way down. Okay, I got that piece down. And I just noticed it's almost midnight. Why do I do this? Anyway, there's how it's looking so far. <laughs> I ain't put in glue yet. Okay, and here's some of that plain window shear fabric. Okay. And I just, uh, I laid the, like, say this was it. I laid the fabric down and put this on top since this is lumpy. And I traced around it with an ink pen. And then I cut the ink part off. Okay, I don't think there's any threads holding it off. I'm squishing that centerpiece, I can tell you that. Okay, and with this part, let me set that aside. I'm going to have to glue these little things I cut off of some lacy window thing. So I'm going to have to cut the... The little tail off because it'll cover up my hole there. So let me do that. And all these. Okay, and I guess this little fuzzy kind of side will go up. And I want it all the way to the end. Wow, I think I cut a little too much off, but that'll be alright. Well, I can just do this, probably, instead of lifting it up. Since it's pretty much all holes. And I need to flatten it out where I don't have a bunch of bulk. Okay. And that one's got a swirly thing. And then this one's got, like, leaves, because they were... Oh, where's one with a swirly? They were connected somehow, and I cut them apart. So, okay, which side's a fuzzy? There we go. So the swirl faces that way, the leaves face this way. I'll have to remember that. Okay, and that hole should be big enough, but I might just waller it out a bit. Put it on there. Okay. Now I'm going to put my finger in the middle of the bud and mess it up real good. 
Because I have to press pretty hard to get this back on there. That's an ugly green, but it'll do. And so now I can turn, like if my petals are all lined up. See, that one's really pink. Okay, there's petal, and this is window shear. So I want to turn this window shear to cover up some of that pink. Okay, let's see what the next layer. That's petal, raggedy petal. The, uh, what's this? More of the raggedy. Okay, and there's my big window shear and the little one that's in that cup. Okay. See, it's nothing like that other one. But, and see, the other one has a jewel, so I could put a jewel in this one. But I'm thinking... I'm going to close this up. Okay, there's a couple little things I changed my mind about when I was uh, putting it back together again. I left my little beloved cup out. Which, it'll come in handy with some flowers. Some of the flowers the, that I make later. Um, so I've got the little curtain shear on top. And so now I just got this green button in the middle since I didn't use my little cup. And I ended up using two of these. I have one more petal laying over and I'm like, well, I might as well throw it on there too. <laughs> so you didn't see me add that one, but I did. Uh, but I think these may be smaller. I don't know. But I got to thinking, if you didn't do the lace and you just done the window shear fabric, that adds a, a softness to it. You know, the lace don't really show anyway, and I really like the way it looks. I want to turn this to where my lace shows more, though. And now, I thought of a few things. When it had a cup, I thought about that, but it stuck up too much. In the end, what else was it I was thinking of? Oh. Well. That would be pretty. If I get the, ball, the whole knot to show. And then, this. No. If you're like me, you're thinking, go with this or go with that. I do that when I watch videos. They'll be trying to decide, and I'll be like, pick that one, pick that one. To myself. Not out loud yet. I ain't that crazy yet. But. I wonder if the glue would stick to this good. I think that looks good if I can get it to stay let's try we'll try yep okay and it's just a cheap old dollar tree flower if it falls off you know i might could scratch it with an emery board or something. If it falls off later, I will, I guess. If it'll cover the green good, it'll be alright. That's pretty, ain't it? So, okay. Remember, this one's butamus. <laughs> butamus! But I made, okay, let me show you compared to, okay, I don't want to warp my butamus one. Let 
Now see, these are pretty. I wouldn't have bought them if they weren't pretty. I had them out for Easter. But that really softened it a lot. Yeah, I like that. And so I think with just some window shear fabric, something like that, even if you don't use lace, you know, you can make these look like that. And then if you can, I'll probably have to glue the stem back in or I'm going to have to put some glue where it's cracked right there. I can put a stem back in it. You know, and I might could, you know, for a few dollars, I could make maybe three or five of these. Odd numbers look better. So, uh, well, I'll tell you what. I might make a bouquet and this be the center. I don't know. I don't know what I'll do. I'm just making flowers. <laughs> but, yeah, I'm excited about that because I realized I can use my fabric. I don't know why I never thought of that. I can use my fabric, any of my fabric, with flower parts. Well, fake flower parts. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Ain't that nice? Okay, I made another flower, and this time I put a lot of lace and fabric compared to that one that's mostly petals. This one's got some of those petals from flowers also, and then there's the one that I love that uh, inspired me to try this. So I'm going to show you the different layers in this. Ooh, look how pretty they look just laying down like that. <laughs> I just noticed how pretty that was. But I'm kind of wanting to build my bouquet. This is just two of the original flowers left on it. So I'll just do this as I can. There's one that inspired me. Oh, and here's my new one I made okay and my battery is trying to go dead see if we can get through this okay here's a well I kind of glued it to it but it's a uh, flower off of a curtain it was one of my grandmother's curtains I had in my spare room and I've been wanting to take them down so I finally found a good use for them instead of just uh, storing them somewhere or getting rid of them and so next is a, one of the petals and next is another flower I think the other flower looks kind of like that one like half a flower <laughs> but uh, I just kind of cut it I don't know if I cut it here but you know I cut petal shapes where I needed it and then just some lacy fabric off of a blouse. It's kind of an off-white. And another store petal. And some sheer kind of fabric. And more sheer kind of fabric. And then I just took some of the... That same curtain material. And kind of cut a, a flower shape. Just out of a random piece. And then another store petal. And for some reason, I put my little sheer fabric in there. It's just hidden, but I don't want to take it back apart. <laughs> and the really pink store petal, I had to trim it down. And I left it really pink because uh, this thick flower. I forget what I got that off of. Uh, probably some curtain or tablecloth, you know, and it had some white leaves hooked to each side. I had it in another video, and so I wanted the pink behind that, but see if it would just be too pink if this went over it, and then I put a little of the sheer fabric that's not cut in any shape, kind of round or oblong, and I tried some different centers, like the one I had in propped up in it, and... Those little beads are cute. Okay, yeah, my battery went dead. So, uh, here's my bouquet so far. I'll make another video when I have my bouquet finished. But I wanted to hurry up and share this because I uh, know everybody's into the spring flowers. So, uh, there's the one that inspired me. And then there's the first one I made. It doesn't have much lace, but it's got some of the sheer fabric in it. 
and uh, and a little lace. And then this one has a lot of lace. And uh, that's just propped up there. That's the one I'm going to put on it, I believe. And then there's two little ones that are just plain, like to come from the store. But I just put them in a random vase. Okay. I'm thinking that I might make the stems white somehow and use uh, some of the leaves that came with this flower. And actually on the stems, I don't know. I'll see. That may get too complicated, but there'll be another video in the future of the bouquet. So keep an eye out for it. And thanks for watching, and be sure and hit the like button, and subscribe, and share this video with your friends. Thanks. Bye-bye.